In last video, we already figured out the function to model the curve of this vase from P to S. Now we will find another function to model this curve. So go to tools, point, add the point. Now right click, go to setting. We will change this point into T. Then click this algebra to get the coordinate of this T. I want to use a linear function to model the curve of this vase from S to T. On the paper, I set up another table to model the curve from S to T. I want to use the linear function to model this curve. First of all, I figured out the slope, then use a point slope form to get g of x equals 0.0280x plus 0 0.796. Then go back to GeoGebra to check how well it fit that part of the curve. Now I put the function into this GeoGebra. Click here. We got the linear function from S to T. You could say it didn't fit the curve of the vase very well. Basically, internal assessment is about exploration of math. It's necessary to record what happened during the exploration. So even if linear function is not the best fit for the curve from S to T, you need to record the whole process. Since the linear function is not the best fit for the curve of S T, I will add another point. Click a point. Click here. I added point A between point S and point T. Then I use the fit poly list of points, degree of a polynomial, to find a quadratic function to model the curve from S to T. If you want to, you can move this A to make this curve fit the upper boundary of the V's better. Then you can use these three points to figure out the quadratic function. It's recommended that you should try to figure out linear and quadratic functions by hand. In the playlist Internal Assessment Function Modeling, I made four videos about quadratic function. The first method is by calculator. Methods two, three, four are by hand. I figured out the quadratic function p of x to model the curve from s to t. You could say it fits very well. If you want to change the color of this graph, click here. Setting, color, you can use any color you want. You can also put key of x to the coordinate of this GeoGebra. Then you click here for f of x. Since we already figured out uh, the curve from P to S and from S to T, 
you can use a definite integral to figure out uh, the volume of uh, this uh, this.